Everything that was became what is. And what withers and dies is but like the larva in its cocoon. And welcome to today's episode of the Corona Talk. And I'm so happy to have this wonderful guest today, Melissa. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How about you? <laughs> yeah, thank you. How how was your weekend, your Easter weekend? <laughs> A very quiet, as you can imagine. I haven't yeah. uh, been able to meet the family or anyone. So we were here uh, in Denmark, and we just went out for a little uh, walk and a uh, nice dinner. Yeah. yeah, simple. Yeah. And you? Yeah, super good. Yeah, me too. A little bit same. I just met uh, my family uh, and that's it. I mean, very quiet right at the moment. It's just the yeah. times. <laughs> yeah, but we have very beautiful weather here. So um, oh, we just went for a walk as well in in the woods. <laughs> so that was oh, actually yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. How's the weather in Denmark? Are you in Denmark? Yeah, I'm in Denmark and the, the weather is beautiful, actually. So it's nice. Um, and uh, we are very close to the beach. So uh, we Ooh. practice social distancing, but in the in the wild. <laughs> in <say>. the wild. <laughs> oh, wow. So cool. Did you go for a swim already? Mm. No, no, no. It's too early. <laughs> too early, <laughs> But I, right? saw, I saw some people doing this. Uh, I don't remember the name, but you know, you have, um, you use the wind. There's a, um, uh, how do you call it? They, are, they have a board and there is oh, this thing. The thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's called kite surfing or something kite like that. I'm not yes. sure. <laughs> oh, would you ever try it? <laughs> I, I, I would love to try it in summer because they always end up in, 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 the, water. in the sea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So right now it's not for me. It's too <laughs> cold. In summer, too cold. yes. Yeah. Maybe a few months later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Hey, amazing. Hey, I just actually want to talk about your new album with Ad Infinitum. Yes. Congratulations. How Thank does it you. feel? How how did it go so far? Just tell us. <laughs> oh my god, this is such a relief to finally release it because you know we've been working on it for a while now and um you know you prepare everything, the 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 music, the visual, the promotion, you you start to tease the fans and and everything and yeah. then there's just one thing you wait for is the final release and everything yes. and and it felt so great and you know when it's the first i mean you know it of course but when it's the first release you're kind of a little bit anxious and nervous because you don't know how people are going to react and yeah. uh people were all so mm -hmm. nice and the yeah. comments were so great and we've been yeah. um we, we received a lot of support everybody was sharing the videos and everything so it felt really yeah. good wow and now, super exciting now, yeah, mm -hmm. it, was, it was really, it's still very exciting because it's still very fresh. The only thing mm -hmm. is uh, we, we haven't been able to play. We were supposed to um, to go on tour right after the release. I mean, actually during the release. And um, it, yeah. it's the only thing that still remains um, uh, the unconquered territory, let's say. <laughs> I see. So we kind of just come to the corona then. So it affects you as well, right? Everybody... Yeah all the musicians so you would have had a release show or or like and this one is cancelled and the whole tour or what was the plan and um we had a tour planned we were going on tour with uh, serenity dynasty and victorious around yes. europe mm -hmm. and uh, we were supposed to start two days before the release and to end i think yesterday or two days ago yeah two days ago yeah. mm -hmm. And we were super, super, super looking forward. You know, we started to prepare yeah. the, the show and everything. We, we, we wanted to make something yeah. special. And, um, and uh, yeah, well, everybody's in the same situation. So, yeah, but it's, exactly. it's a little bit of a pity because we haven't been able to play one single show since it was supposed to be the, the very beginning of the, yeah. of the live shows for the band. So, yeah. So you feel the energy, you just want to sing it out, but at the moment it's not really possible. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like you're, you're like constructing the whole thing and then you're like, okay, the album is done. Now we prepare the promotion. Now we prepare the music videos. And then finally, like in one month we go on tour. Yeah. And then you're like, uh, no, it's uh, not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is is the, the tour going to be postponed or do you have already some information? Yeah, the, the tour is postponed to February 2021. 
so mm -hmm. it's really far. It's uh, really but far. Uh, in yeah, but in the meantime, we've been lucky enough to receive another proposal to tour with uh, Visions of Atlantis in September. Yes. So I really hope that this will happen because it's kind yeah. of itching to go live you know <laughs> you really want to play these songs live yes yes now now you release them to the world and now you just want to yeah. sing them out right but yeah of mm -hmm. course yes yeah, see how is it for you i i feel the same i just want to go on tour we would have been on tour or we we still would be in russia at the moment and mm -hmm. uh yeah it's just postponed now and yeah it's yeah. a pity but yeah we just have to find a way to kind of bridge this time right to just yes yeah. yeah just do different things so i've seen that you do you did this two hour live stream right <laughs> oh yeah that was so cool <laughs> that was a that was a little bit um you know at first we were we wanted to do a, a live stream show mm -hmm. and we were like okay how can we do this and then you get the news that the borders are closed and you're like okay we're oh. in three different countries so it's not possible so what can we do Mm -hmm. And then um, we decided to do a kind of release party together mm -hmm. online. And the good the good side of it is that many many people could attend it. You know, just not just like a show where people from the area can come, but yes. really everybody from all over the world were able to join. And there there were many many people. It was so um, heartwarming. And um, yeah. right before it, Napalm. Um, streamed our album and we were connected as well and we could reply to the comments and you know it's kind of frightening because very often on youtube you know people are are hiding behind the screen so they can you know make fun of you or everything so you're like oh my god what's gonna happen and but people were so mm -hmm. nice it was uh yeah. it was a wonderful debut a yeah. wonderful beginning for the album yeah yeah so the feedback is great right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Super, i'm super happy yeah wow Thank and you. So it's kind of, although we're kind of separate, right, in the houses and you're kind of stuck, but still, thanks to the internet, we can connect. And for example, this release party, two hour stream you did, I mean, you would have maybe not done that if you would have had just a normal release show and you would be on tour. Mm -hmm. So actually it yeah. was a chance for all the people all over the world to join in. So that's the positive side, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm thinking that this has, the situation has good sides. Uh, like this one that you just mentioned, but also the mm -hmm. fact that, you know, everybody's at home right now. And uh, I mean, not everybody, but most of the people are at home and yeah. um, they need entertainment. So we just released an album and there's a lot of people telling us, yeah, that's great. You're enter entertaining us during the quarantine. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makes you feel good. But do you have uh, contact with your band? I mean, you are in three different countries, you said. Yeah. So tell us the countries. <laughs> so <laughs> there's two guys in Germany, Nick and Adrian, mm -hmm. uh, our drummer and guitar player. There's yeah. uh, Jonas uh, in uh, Sweden. Sweden. Mm -hmm. And I'm in Denmark. Yeah, okay. And how do you keep contact together? Uh, do, are you in contact together and planning different stuff? So tell us about your plans and... <laughs> Yeah, so we are um, we are in contact regularly um, by Skype and by WhatsApp, of course, mm -hmm. every day by WhatsApp and regularly on on Skype to mm -hmm. plan mm -hmm. um, the next weeks. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And uh, we're trying to be creative. You know, we are trying to um, to find a plan B for this campaign and to to find a way to um, keep in in touch with the people who like our music and who are following us, you know, not being ghosts or being silent, trying to yeah. find another way and use this, all these tools we have today as best as we can. Uh, we have social media, we have, uh, we have YouTube, we have, we have a lot of tools that allow us to, to, to remain present, to, to keep working and to keep giving people something. So we are, we're, we're talking a lot about this and of what we can do and also um, in terms of merchandising we will offer some some special things not mm -hmm. because of losses of everything but yeah. but uh, because we want to do a little bit of a, yeah a little something special and uh, also some some videos we, we're trying to be as creative as we can yeah yeah it's perfect now's the time since you're not on tour you're at home you have a lot of time so 
yeah so it's yeah. actually maybe it's also a nice opportunity to you know count in some time for stuff that you normally don't have time to do so and not only creative stuff but maybe also just cleaning the house and stuff like that yeah you know? <laughs> yeah 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 that's true I, I you know i actually wonder if uh during this uh this time people who perhaps cannot go to work or people who lost their work will take the time mm -hmm. to reflect on what they really want to do after this you know mm -hmm. i wonder how many people would change their job their jobs because they think okay this is not the way i want to uh spend my entire life because yeah. i mean I think now people have a lot of time to think uh, about what really matters and um, and uh, I, I really hope that some people will find um, some kind of enlightenment of what they really love to do and, and what mm -hmm. they want to invest time in. I don't know, what yeah. do you think about this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally. Then And just go for that. Like, I think you have a lot of time now to think about yourself, work on yourself and mm -hmm. just yeah just take your time for stuff that normally when the world is turning that fast you don't have time for and now exactly. it feels like the world slowed down and also the earth gets to breathe again kind of uh yeah yeah which is actually very nice <laughs> yeah, That's a positive yeah, yeah. side mm -hmm. we were actually wondering uh um what kind of uh impact this would have on the environment Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've just seen a map of the you know the the pollution and that it it's it's you can see that it's reducted yeah. right now but I, I i was wondering on the long run what kind of impact it would have i yes i don't know <laughs> yeah um i also i read an article where it said that the dolphins in in italy they came back like close to venice really? so i don't know but something like that yeah uh, oh it's my this... favorite animal <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, oh you see so this is this is the positive aspect and we just have to see the positive side because at the moment we cannot mm -hmm. change anything it's very unpredictable right mm -hmm. uh, yeah it is yeah how the future will be when we can play shows again and everything mm -hmm. yeah, this is very stressful actually because you know for me it's unrealistic that things will not go back to normal but who knows you know i'm not i'm not a a scientist or I, I i have no clue so mm -hmm. i'm 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 very optimistic about this I, i i just cannot imagine that things will just change completely but yeah. i mean what if you know um there are some people who are not as optimistic as me who are telling that it will take much more time than than what we can imagine to go back to normal especially for the entertainment industry because it's not a necessary um yeah. field so yeah. everything will start like the necessary things will start again and then at last the entertainment like the the the, the sports the music and everything so i really wonder and it's kind of frightening because yeah okay um you might think that one or two years in a lifetime is not is nothing but it's in the life of a for example someone who's um preparing for the the olympic games two years is huge it's mm. a huge loss it's, it's mm -hmm. a career that can go completely down yes so i it's 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 frightening it it is a little bit right also for us because as you say it is in the entertainment field is not necessary you know what i mean it's yeah i think pro i think maybe first the borders are going to be open again and then just yeah. the very necessary stuff and then on top The mass events like concerts and festivals will come, but that can take some more time. So, yeah. So financially, also, it is a huge problem, right? I mean, the the biggest income, like the shows and the merch and everything you sell on the shows, this is just now on pause. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, for us, we're a new band, so we we don't expect a lot of income from the shows directly, but mm -hmm. the merch, of course. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky enough to, uh, <laughs> we were really late in ordering our merchandising for the tour. So we only had the <laughs> CDs. So <laughs> for, for, for once, I thank myself for being late at something. <laughs> But I mean, I mean, yeah, the merchandising is one of the main income uh, for the bands, especially for, for us, because, you know, you don't get a, a, a huge fee when you start as a band. So that's why we're trying to... Um, to develop our own merch through the shop and uh, yes. to have another source of income 
and mm -hmm. uh, to pro also to propose something special to the people um, because I like to draw. I, I actually this mm -hmm. is a I, I, we, this is kind of an internal information for the band, but I'm telling you right now. Uh, I like to draw and uh, we decided to make some special shirts that I would draw. Oh. And um, mm -hmm. we thought, okay, this is something special that we can offer because this is not yeah. just hiring a designer and um, yeah. and uh, and uh, and printing some shirts. It's like a teamwork where I would draw the yeah. shirts and then we order them and then the guys ship them all around the world. So yeah. Wow, this is super super personal. So you draw it, they send it. Yeah. So you get very much connected with the fans that that buy it. And yeah, so this is something special. Yeah. Okay, so you did a crowdfunding for the album too, right? So yeah, we did. How did that go and what did you offer them and how much work is it in the end? <laughs> oh my God, this is a lot of work. But actually, you know, I, 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 the more successful it is, the more work you have. So mm -hmm. it's a positive, <laughs> great amount of work. <laughs> um, we did it uh, in November 2018. We released mm -hmm. um, one single so people get, could know what they can expect from, from Ad Infinitum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then we, we launched the campaign and uh, it, I think it was from end of November until January. And we offered a certain number of, of, of perks and then we thought, mm -hmm. okay, we're going to offer, you know, the normal CD, uh, the CD plus deluxe version, CD plus t-shirt and yeah. some special experiences. And, and there was this one box. This is a funny story. We have this one box. It's a wooden box with a shirt, a, a poster, a card, the album and a handmade bracelet. And we thought, okay, this is something special. So we're going to put it a little bit more expensive because it's a lot of work. And, uh, and also we have to ship them and it's heavy. So, okay. And I thought, okay, there's going to be like 10, 15 people taking this. And it's been sold 70 times. So it's great. But can you imagine Nick, our drummer, had to create 70 Seven. wooden boxes to carve our name inside the wood to paint them and i had to create 70 bracelets and then we had to sign everything and ship oh my god it was <laughs> so <laughs> much <great>. positive work <laughs> but it's yeah. a lot of work <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. but it's oh, wow. it great because in the end it, it allowed us to make a we were really proud of this album and we'd, yeah. we would not have been able to make it without the crowdfunders so it worked beautifully yeah it's also a very nice way to connect to, to the people, right? They, they are part of your project because thanks to them, you yeah. could actually realize it. So it's yeah, a very exactly. special way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But because of this Corona situation, it's been a little bit harder for us because, you know, we were supposed to gather all the bands before the tour and to yeah. prepare all the, all the packages and to ship them. Mm -hmm. And since the, the tour was postponed and the, and, the, um, and the borders were closed, we had to ship the things from one country to another, like ship the CDs from Austria to Denmark, from Denmark to Germany, then the boxes and everything. And, it, and, it, and in the end, we were only two working on the shipments because it was too expensive to, to share between four people. So it took much more time. But the people were super, super understanding and, and they were like, no problem. No Take problem. your time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah very special nice. situation. What can you do, especially when you're spread out in Europe? Yeah. Three right. different countries makes it hard. Yeah. 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 That's true. Mm -hmm. But it's not your only band. I mean, you you are in so many projects. So how, how do you handle it at the moment? I mean, you're off with Rage of Lights and I don't know, just... How is it going? I mean, are you in contact with all of them? Do you have different plans for all of the bands? And <laughs> um, it's actually quite simple because um, right now I'm working with um, uh, sometimes with Serenity and Workings, but only as a guest. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really involved in, in many things. I'm just there when there is a live show and actually more with Workings and Serenity right now. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and with Rage of Light, you know, we had the the album release last year, so this year is a little bit calmer. Yeah. So it's 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 not a big deal to deal with everything right now. Uh, now mm -hmm. the focus is on Ad Infinitum, obviously, and um, yeah, and uh, yeah, with the other bands, there's not uh, much happening right now. So it's not like everything is at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you have a good balance, like now it's Ad Infinitum, then later it will be maybe Rage of Light again and just, yeah, have to find a good balance. Otherwise it's going to yeah. be too much. Not everything at the same of time, course. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
<laughs> is it not possible otherwise? No, yeah. How yeah, is it but, for you? Yeah, but hey, same. Just, uh, yeah, I, I'm with uh, Elveti at working now, for example, to do this, this talk, and I enjoy <laughs> it so much. So thank you, by the way, for joining us. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you for the yeah. invitation. <laughs> yeah, and for me, for example, I, I teach now at the moment as well to just, uh, you know, keep get busy and just be creative and everything do you also teach mm -hmm. what or what are your like what, what do you do now when you're at home do you um i i used to teach but um i stopped a few weeks ago uh mm -hmm. because i moved to denmark i was teaching in austria and oh. um and a little bit online but i i i when i moved to denmark i stopped for a while Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And especially because, you know, when I moved to Denmark, I had, <laughs> it was funny, I had like one week and then I was going on tour with Rock Meets Classic. So... Yes! Aha! Uh -huh. And then you had to cancel this tour, right? We were we were texting each other, right? And you yeah, were like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we were able to play five shows, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then we had to cancel. But you know what? I was super happy that we could at least start. Because yeah. we've been rehearsing for a while and uh, mm -hmm. and making sure that everything goes together. You know, we rehearsed first with the band and then the band plus the orchestra and then the band, the orchestra and the guests. And and then finally you start the tour. Yeah. And, and then... uh, you know, I, we, we got to know during the rehearsals that the show in Switzerland was canceled. And I was like, oh, no, I was uh, so sad because it's my mm -hmm. it's my country. So I yeah. really wanted to play there. Yeah. And it was a beautiful. Yeah. It was supposed to be a beautiful show. And uh, we got to know that this one was canceled. And, and then I thought, OK, I hope that we can play the other shows at least because because we rehearsed and everything. And it's, yeah. it's so exciting to do this. Yeah. And we started the tour and I was like, Whew. At least, <laughs> at least you could start. And then it so felt like a blessing, you know, because oh. we were like, okay, the situation is so unstable, and yeah. mm -hmm. in the end we had to cancel. But it was, it was a little bit shocking because you don't, you don't think it's real, you don't, yeah. you don't expect this. Yeah. yeah. And then suddenly it do? hits you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. where, where was the last show? Where were you in Germany or? Yeah, we were in Berlin. Mm -hmm. That was the last show. And then it was still possible for everybody to go home. The borders were not closed yet, right? That was before the that. The borders were, yeah, it was still open. And we were still actually, we didn't know because we knew that the, the shows in Bavaria were, were cancelled. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know about the rest of Germany. So we kind of had to wait a bit. And then the news uh, arrived that all the shows in Germany were cancelled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it postponed now or the whole tour? Um, I I don't really know. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was in discussion, I think. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's so unpredictable right now. Yeah. Yeah. And because mm -hmm. you don't know when you can, and and it's complicated because booking these guests and the orchestra and the arenas and everything. I, I guess it's a tremendous job. So yeah, and so many people are involved. I mean, I guess you're a travel party of like fifty people mm -hmm. or something like that with this tour. Or how many uh, are you? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I think. Oh, I think the orchestra was around. Tw uh, 30 people yeah i'm not sure yeah I'm but sure anymore. but a lot i mean a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. a lot of people a lot of people so it's a lot of people to book and uh yeah right now you cannot say okay let's postpone to august because you don't know if you don't august know it's gonna be better yeah yes exactly and you play these huge arenas right so it's a lot yeah. of people a mass event mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's sure. the thing yeah, yeah. Okay, so you will see how how it will go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but how how was the mood there? I mean, you were actually on tour, and then you got the message, "Hey, it's it's now finished." So how was the mood in the group in your fa family? Like the the you know, I mean, you oh you grow God. together like a family. So and yeah. you were working towards one goal, and you were just excited to play these shows, and then suddenly, hey, it's not possible. How was it for everybody? It was shocking because you know we were we were kind of expecting the news but we we're still mm -hmm. hoping and we were planning okay um if this and this show is not possible we're just spend a few days on the road and head to the next show and go to karaoke together and we were kind of planning um yeah. some days off and then you get the news mm -hmm. 
and it's like okay right after you plan your travel back home and you're at the airport suddenly and you're like well Whoa. yesterday or a, a few days ago i was playing there and there and now i'm i'm at the airport and honestly mm. i was first shocked and i think it was like this for everyone we were down completely down and then suddenly mm. you have to say goodbye and i started to cry like a baby because oh, it's <laughs> very so intense it's so i was intense. not ready i was mm. not ready to say goodbye to everybody it was yeah. horrible yeah yeah oh shit yeah i can imagine oh this this is really hard and since you also don't know will it happen later when you don't have a date like okay in september we are gonna continue you don't know right so yeah exactly this makes I it mean, harder mm -hmm. we know that there's, there's another tour plan for next year because mm -hmm. okay. rock classic is every year but we don't know yeah. about this one about this one is it is it always the same people involved there or how how is this anyway um, it's, I mean, there's, um, the, the Matt Senior band is more or less always the same people, but I joined this year and, um, uh, and, um, Sarah joined this year as well because two other singers stopped doing it after I think 10 years. Oh. So mm -hmm. it's more or less always the same people. And then the orchestra, I'm not sure. I think there's kind of a mm -hmm. turnover or who, whoever mm -hmm. is available. I don't mm -hmm. ex exactly know how they are chosen. And then what changes every year is the guests. Um, ah, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, but let's hope you guys find a postpone date somewhere, maybe 2021 before the next starts. Or yeah, <laughs> you guys will just see how it goes. Oh, yeah, it's hard. But how is the situation in Denmark, by the way? Just like country-wise, are you in total lockdown? You can. Uh, what's happening? Um, actually, we can still go out, but mm -hmm. we have to really keep the the distance with other people. For example, mm -hmm. at the shop, you have these lines that, uh, it, for example, at the at the cashier, yeah. you have one line for one person and then another line for another person, and you you have to kind of walk like this yeah. <laughs> to stay uh, <laughs> far away from each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we can we can go out, but there's nothing; everything is closed. So basically, you can have a walk uh, yeah. on the mm -hmm. beach or in the forest. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, go grocery shopping and yeah, that's and that's it. it. Also, restaurants yeah. are closed. Maybe they yeah. still deliver. I don't know. Do they? They deliver. Yeah. They deliver. And school is closed. Yeah, there was a talk about opening again the schools this week, uh, oh. but not for everybody. Just for the small kids. I don't know if this gonna this is gonna happen. And what we know now about the borders is that. It should be closed until the 10th of May. So I don't know if this will stay like this or if this will be um, ah. like pushed back. But it should be the 10th of May. So Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 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 so it's to, to Sweden and to Germany. You you don't get anywhere. Like, do you even have... Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere. Nothing. No ferries. Nothing like... Um, okay. Mm -hmm. No, I think... I think... Um, I think if you have really something important or it's, if it's for job purpose, then you might get an authorization, but mm -hmm. I, I, I mm -hmm. don't really know about mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Wow. So how do you keep yourself busy during the days? Do you have a routine to try to keep a routine, maybe workout, cooking and yeah. Yeah. Well, right now I'm taking care of uh, the packages for the crossfunding still. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and um, and I I like to cook. I, I I recently did some brownies and and cupcakes. <laughs> oh yeah, good um, idea. <laughs> mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, planning planning everything for Ad Infinitum, going out. Yeah. I like biking, so I go yeah. biking. Um, I go oh, yeah. giving some carrots to the deers. <laughs> oh yeah! Wow, are you so close to the countryside, or are like? Mm -hmm. Actually. I'm I mean Esbjerg and the good thing is it's a it's a city that kind of feels like a co cozy village mm -hmm. and we're very very close to the beach like oh. 10 minutes per bike wow very close to the forest so there's there's the nature very like all around mm -hmm. but there's everything we need uh, very close mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I really love it <laughs> wow it sounds great yeah how, how, yeah. what do you do well yeah 
I think same. I I also I try to keep routine. I think it's it's really important. Otherwise, I don't want to sleep out until twelve all the time because nah. <laughs> no, not <laughs> good. <laughs> but yeah, just just trying to keep myself busy, do a lot of music and yeah, just stuff like that. And also, we also did the crowdfunding. Um, I also I'm busy with this as well and just yeah. stuff like that, right? I I feel you. <laughs> Yeah. And how do you keep your vocals in shape? I annoy my neighbors. <laughs> I feel yeah. you too. I know this feeling. <laughs> <laughs> no, um I try to I try to um, to keep singing as much as possible and um and to continue learning all the time because I I I really don't feel like I'm um I'm at the top of what I can do, so I I try to learn more techniques and and mm -hmm. to and to also um, push the limits of my voice as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's good. So since you are in Denmark, do you know about the complete vocal technique? Um, I heard about it, but I never tried. Ah, yeah, 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 okay, because because it is from Denmark, so I was like, oh, oh is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 like the the roots now it's spread out all over. But um, mm -hmm. so, how did you get into singing anyway? Like, oh, it was uh, a long time ago when I was, yeah. uh, I think, six. <laughs> I started by um, joining the um, the the choir of my school. Mm -hmm. So as you can imagine, it's very metal. <laughs> and <laughs> I continued for a couple of years and then uh, I started, you know, I, I was not very into it anymore because when you grow up, you don't want to 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 continue uh, with the with the school things. You want to do your own music. So I yeah. started to do my own music and then I, I learned at home how to play the acoustic guitar Mm -hmm. And I uh, started to, um, you know, we have this thing at we had this thing at the at the school I was I was going to, uh, which was called uh, the Night of the Artists, mm -hmm. and you could perform whatever you wanted, and this is the first time I performed on stage with my guitar and I was singing, you yeah. know, oh, that was so funny <laughs> yeah. in front of the, the the kids and the parents of the school, uh, and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and then um, then I continued. Um, I was doing some parodies on on YouTube because I was I was a nerd when I was a when I was a teenager and I was uh, playing a video game called World of Warcraft ah, and mm -hmm. I was making parodies of, of of mainstream songs with lyrics related to this game. And I did it for a couple of years and then I I I I joined my first metal band when I was mm, I don't remember how old I was I think it was in 2012. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's how. How it started. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah. Well, yeah, for, but a little bit the same. It started also when I was small. Uh, and yeah. well, yeah, I joined metal a little bit later, like three years ago, actually, si since I'm with Elvati. How long is yeah. that now? Yeah, three years and a few months. So time runs so fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's Yeah. But hey, singing is just the best thing. Come on. Let's, let's just say it. Singing is the best thing in the world. <laughs> It is, it is. <laughs> but I'm wondering, how is it, um, you also, you scream. How did you get yeah. into that? W what technique do you do? How did you learn it? It's a huge mysterious for me. I, yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I got to know Camelot when they released their album Silverthorn. Mm -hmm. And in this album, there was a song called Sacrimony. Mm -hmm. And there's Alisa Whiteglass screaming in it. And I was like, this is cool. Who is she? <laughs> and then she got, I, I got to know her band, The Agonist. And um, I thought, hmm, this is cool. I don't know how to do it. I want to know how to do it. And I, oh. I searched for videos. Yeah, because that's, that's when, I, when I find something cool, I want to be able to do it too. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. this is how I learned a lot of stuff. And um, so I searched for videos on YouTube for a while mm -hmm. and I was like no I don't get it okay next video no I don't get it next video no I don't get it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then finally I found this one video that was explaining it in a way that that reached me that reached yeah. the brain here yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and mm -hmm. and and finally I got I, I understood there was a girl 
explaining it in a very funny way. And uh, that's actually the way I, I, I try to explain it also to my students when I was teaching. Um, it's, uh, it's like, yeah, you have to imagine that uh, you, you're a teenager and your mother is telling you, go clean your room. And you're like, ah, ah, go no. clean your room. <laughs> <laughs> and then you continue like this and then you're pissed. You're like, ah. <laughs> and this is, this is how I learned how to scream, actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can you send me the link after our talk? <laughs> I'll try to find it again, but yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, I would l I, I'm so much... I I don't know. I am into it because I, I'm really fascinated. I really want to learn like how to make all the noises in the world, mm. with, like in a healthy way. Uh -huh. But screaming, I, I, I'm just so like, okay, easy, easy, but step by step, just getting a little bit more into it. Uh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. How long did it take you in the end? Or did it just like click and... Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It took a long time yeah. because mm -hmm. first I had to understand how the song is created, uh, how the sound is created. Mm -hmm. Then I had mm -hmm. to be able to master it. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, when you can produce it, at first you cannot sing an entire song. You can sing a couple of words and then you're completely out of breath. So it's yeah. like, okay, learning how to last longer. And actually I'm convinced that having a good singing technique helps you screaming mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you already know how to breathe properly. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and so... Um, so once I got to, to um, improve my breathing, it was, okay, uh, I could do one entire sentence, then one entire song, but it was not really interesting, you know, that the sound was mm -hmm. created, but a little bit boring. So when you know how to scream and you can hold it for an entire song, you kind of have to learn how to pitch it or to create the sound you want because mm -hmm. It's like when you sing, you will not sing with only one note and one intensity. You will put, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know, more power or less or or more uh, sing with a fragile voice or with this. Yeah, yeah, you know, you will put some dynamics, dynamics. Exactly. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's the same with the scream. And when you finally get to know how to do it, then the scream becomes interesting. And I would say mm -hmm. it took me at least a year to have a yeah. nice sound, let's say. Yeah, wow, one year, and, and uh, you sound amazing. I am a huge fan Thank of you. your screams, seriously. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very, very fascinating to me, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> So it's very interesting for me to talk to talk with you about it, uh, how you got into it and everything. But what do you, what do you prefer? Do you prefer clean singing or screams or is it hard to choose or? Clean, 100% yeah. clean, yeah. Because uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's, I can do much more, I think. And it's, it's you know, with my personality, I, I've, I recognize myself more in clean singing than in screaming. I like doing both. But, for example, we did an infinitum album where I could really uh, decide how much, I, how much clean and how much scream I would put. There's, let's say, 85% of clean singing and just here and there some touches of scream just to mm -hmm. you know to spice it up a little bit here and there just yeah. to use it as a as an addition but i i i love clean singing and everything you can do and i i really feel like i still have a lot to learn so i'm it's mm -hmm. an adventure <laughs> yeah it is so much to explore right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so do, do you have a certain technique did, were you trained classically in the beginning or did you have singing lessons in pop singing or how did how did you develop your skills? Um, it was actually fun because uh, when I started singing in my in my first metal band, um, you know, usually your friends they just tell you, "Oh, you sing great," mm. and mm -hmm. I needed at some point someone to kick my ass and say, <laughs> "You have to learn more technique." Yeah, exactly because I was singing. I mean, I had a good. Um, good tone and uh, you know mm -hmm. the the pitch and everything, but I had no power and I was breathing completely wrongly. And at some point, someone told me that, and I, I think the day after I contacted um, a coach uh, in Switzerland, ah. 
and um, because I was living there back then, mm -hmm. and um, and um, she she is a brilliant teacher and she knows like I think every possible singing technique ever, mm -hmm. and she's a she loves metal, mm -hmm. so she so it was the perfect teacher for me. She is great. She's nice. She's open-minded mm -hmm. and i told her i you know i came to her with uh, songs like um from uh, i don't know delayed or camelot or whatever and she was like okay mm -hmm. let's do it oh, and she mm -hmm. she taught she taught me the right direction i think she didn't yeah. think okay but first you have to learn the classical way and then let's go to jazz and then yeah. whatever she knew what i wanted to achieve and then yeah. she she guided me there yeah 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 in the French part of Switzerland, right? You you were yeah. grown up in Montreux, close there, right? Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the teacher was also from there, or yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. do you, do you miss Switzerland? Is your family still living there, and you're in Denmark now? How is it to be kind of locked away from your family? <laughs> uh, um, I you know actually it's funny because um, I until the borders were closed i was okay and when you realize that you cannot go that's when you start to miss the people because you don't have the choice to visit them anymore yeah yeah um and sometimes i miss it because i have my friends and my yeah. family but mm -hmm. uh, i'm i'm also very much uh focused into music right now so i'm yeah. in my some very often i'm in my little bubble yeah and um <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. but now I'm okay but now that now that I cannot uh go to Switzerland I'm oh. starting to yeah it's that uh. like mm -hmm. it's a different feeling to it right if if you if you are away but you know you could go back anytime you want and see your family yeah. see your friends it's different than now when you're really like stuck a little bit well, I mean it is your home in Denmark yeah. now but still I guess the feeling is is different to it yeah mm -hmm. exactly Mm -hmm. But you look very happy and... I am. <laughs> good. This is good to hear. So I would say two last questions from my side. Okay. So the, your album now with Adni Fintum is called like chapter one, right, Moriki? So mm -hmm. when is chapter two coming? Uh, in a couple of days. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, wow. I don't know. <laughs> no, we're, we're joking about this because we're telling, okay, now that we don't have anything else to do, let's just write chapter two and release it. Mm -hmm. No, um, I don't know yet, actually, but we don't want to wait too long because mm. actually when you only have one album out, um, it's like you're not giving enough to people to to you know, really identify to your music and mm -hmm. to, um, to, I don't know, to be faithful to you. So we want to really yeah. give more to the people so they can get to know our full universe and, and yes. more of us and, and also because we cannot play live. So at some point people will know the album mm -hmm. and we cannot go out to promote it. So we kind of want to give more Mm -hmm. But I don't have a, I don't really have a date right now. Yeah. Um, no, no, I mean, it's uh, too far, I guess. <laughs> but but uh, I as mean, soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, oh yes. I guess as soon as like the lockdown is over, we will have so much great music because probably all the bands stay right now because now is the time. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I was actually thinking that um, it's great. You know, at first I was kind of, I was really sad that we could not go on tour and that. We, you know, you release the album, and then you cannot do anything. Uh, that was my my that was my my first thought when 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 we got to know mm -hmm. that we could not go on tour. I was like, okay, we're not going on tour. We're releasing this album, but we cannot do anything about it. It's too bad. It's like one lost album. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, no, it's not because right now there's not a lot of things going on in music. So it's actually a very good timing to entertain people. Yeah. And yeah. And. But I fear that all the bands writing music right now, if they release their album all at the same time after the lockdown, it's going to be like an overload of music. Just too much. Yes. And everybody yeah. wants to go tour again as soon as yeah. it's possible. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess we need to find a balance. So it's not everything an explosion. And then <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's see how everything goes, how everything develops. I mean... It is really hard to say, yeah. But, okay, so when it will be over, everything is back to normal. 
What is、mm-hmm. the first thing you are gonna do? Like, that you cannot do at the moment? Like, I don't know. Do you have something that you really、as、miss a, that you can't do now? As a person or as a musician?、Uh, as a person. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I want to, to meet with a lot of friends and have a party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I would love、yeah. to do this. Or,、mm-hmm. I don't know,、mm-hmm. perhaps also go to some of the public places that,、yeah. I, that I cannot、mm-hmm. visit right now.、Mm-hmm. Travel. Travel. <gasps> oh, yeah, I want to travel, actually. Travel. Travel. Because I, we actually planned.、Um, With Martin to go to, to Ireland, and, and obviously it's not going to happen. And I think this is one of the things I, I love this country. And,、yeah. uh, and going on vacation somewhere is something like, you know, traveling. Mm-hmm, oh, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. How about、so、you, by the way?、Longing. Yeah, yeah, I think the same, like meeting up with, with people. <laughs> and not just、yeah. via. Actually, I did with, with some classmates that I, yeah, <laughs> I finished my studies in September. But,、uh, so,、um, and with some classmates,、um, we were having this, this talk, you know, like a Zoom session. And yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we were like, how many people? I think we were like. Six people or so. It was very nice because I haven't seen them for a while now. And they're all spread in the, you know, everywhere in Switzerland. And we just had this t o m conversation because we actually we were supposed to meet all together. Finally, we found the day that everybody could meet. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then we're like, okay, now we can't, but hey, let's just have a conversation via、um, laptop. And everybody had something to drink. And then we were just talking <laughs> for like four hours or something like that. And that was actually nice. But I'm looking forward to meet up everybody to get like, because the social contact is still here thanks to the internet. But yeah, it's still something missing when you cannot be in one room together, I, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so、uh, we are looking forward to that, right? <laughs> yeah. But hey, thank you so, so much for your talk and thanks for taking your time.、Uh, to thank have you for a, having me. Yeah, it was very nice to talk to you. And have a wonderful day. And yeah, just stay safe and take care. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You too. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Bye.